everyone i'm uh this is this is strange but i, I can see some familiar if, uh names in the chat there very good good to see no no i actually can't see anyone's names um this is uh this is a kind of a once in a ever sort of scenario because i've never done this before but uh i figured we were going to be um missing out on our uh you know stream tonight because I've got to be traveling somewhere and uh, I figured you know the least I could do is uh, still post a video you know make it somewhat of a stream and then uh, you know premiere it so that all of you can watch it at the same time and still chat and stuff like that so might be a, a messed up experiment but I was willing to try it out because yeah, I'm willing to try out anything, I guess. So, anyway, we'll start this whole baby out, you know. If you enjoy it, hit the like button. And uh, if you're new, then subscribe and all that sort of jazz. But let's uh, let's move on, shall we? We're uh, fishing for pike today in St. Croix. And I will say that the, um, that the 4th of July stuff is actually starting as well. So, you can see down below, 4th of July, meet Washington. Actually, you can't see it because my big mug is in the freaking way here. Meet, meet Washington down in Emerald Lake, and then uh, you gotta find an old statue of George Washington there, as you can see. Um, and then we have the Cannonball Salute. So you can go, uh, you have to shoot it off 50 times, shoot off 50 cannons. Um, I'm assuming it would be pretty simple if you have the cannonballs, um, but that's the trouble. You've gotta get cannonballs, so. Uh, you gotta not only do you have to shoot off 50 uh, cannons, but you have to go find 50 cannonballs at the same time And you actually start with one um, We can see I was hoping actually it'd probably be No, no, okay. 
Okay, well, uh, I have it somewhere, but I don't know where it is, so... <laughs> I would have assumed it would be in, in this region, but I guess not. We have a bunch of other stuff from uh, Halloween events and random shenanigans. We don't need a bull rush in our inventory, neither do we need a shell, I don't, I don't believe. But we'll, uh... I'm not sure about the rest of these. We'll keep those. All right, well, and those two. We'll keep those two. Actually, we could probably throw them in our home. Just so we don't have to deal with them. But anyway, we have some fireworks. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be shooting them off for the 4th of July, though. But we do uh, we do have these awesome rods here. The Arctic 13 foot 2s. Uh, this is kind of the rod that I decided would be... Turn me back on here. Uh, this is kind of the rod that I decided would be kind of perfect for fishing for pike. It's 24, uh, 25 pounds, I guess. And then I throw on a... Uh, a Hornet Swarm 6000 and that Hornet Swarm 6000 is 24.2 uh, pounds uh, so together they make a pretty good setup for anywhere in that 24 range which is kind of around where the uh, you know the, the the big pike come along so uh, lastly I have this Phoenix 14 foot 10 which is also a pretty decent rod uh, if you get into the uniques you might be fighting them for a little bit longer than the other ones but uh, otherwise, it's a it's a pretty great rod. I'm not sure about um, casting if we have time in between. Usually we don't, mind you. We don't have time because we're catching so many on the other rods that we don't have time to uh, mess with anything else. But let's see, what do we have here? I think my main go-to at the moment is actually a bait casting rod. So that'll be the bass caster seven foot ten there, and then we'll throw on the counselor thirty five hundred, which is twenty three pounds together, twenty three twenty four pounds, same kind of range there. Uh, what you should know is that people ask me all the time where are my favorite places to fish, what fish is my favorite to catch, um, and I usually say something about you know tarpon or carp or you know what have you but for the longest time pike were my favorite thing to catch they they give you a lot of money um i mean you can spend an hour at st croix and pull out fifty five thousand dollars um and you know that's unheard of for a lot of players and if you're going from everglades to st croix that's uh, it's a huge thing to get, spend a lot of time in Everglades catching a lot of bass, and you use that money um, to to buy match rods like what we have here, the Arctic 13 foot two and the uh, Phoenix 14 foot ten here, and uh, and and you yeah you get those match rods and you go out there and you catch a bunch of pike is the goal. So we're gonna rig these up here. I'll save you uh, the time actually. And because uh, I can actually pause this, whereas in a live stream I can't pause. Um, but I'll uh, pause, put these together, and we'll start fishing, everyone. So let's do that. All right, we're back. How about that? That made it a lot simpler, eh? Um, I tell you what, uh, I did save this because this is something that comes up quite a bit here. People always ask, what's the best size to use for, uh, for pike and that sort of thing? And I'll tell you, um, I have tried a little bit of everything. I've tried the the theory that you know, oh, you can use up to a ten knot hook and it'll catch you a bigger fish and everything. I have tried just about every hook. I've spent hours catching pike. Uh, the best thing I can recommend is just using a seven knot hook. Um, I think the seven knot does the best job of catching everything um, you think if you put on a, a larger hook and the pike will go for a larger hook you can put a 10 knot hook on a match rod and you will catch pike um, they just they just don't care they're uh, they're kind of funny fish and they and that's why they've kind of become my favorite fish in fishing planet <laughs> but but uh, I'll tell you uh, seven knot hooks I think they catch really they catch uniques they catch the smaller fish um, they just are right there in the middle spot Goldilocks story if you will um, but we are throwing on some shiners here as you can see I have quite a few shiners not as many as I used to have I used to have over I don't even know maybe close to 500 shiners at one point um, just because 
you know, you can use large minnows if you want to. But I think the large minnows just cost more and there's no reason to, I mean, it's not like they catch you more uniques in my opinion. I think the shiners catch you just as much uniques. Um, but you know, if we, if we want to try it, we got three rods so we can bring some uh, large minnows as well. And uh, we can certainly see if we catch a unique, maybe it'll be on a large minnow. Who's who's to say? We'll throw it on the biggest rod just in case. But uh, I think we'll end up catching just about the same on either of them and if you're a lower level then the shiners are going to be cheaper for you anyway um and then going into the baitcaster we have a uh, a jerk bait six odd hook on here uh lemon with black stripes i do have another one that we could use as well uh the jerk baits uh i think the pike are one of the first fish that really go after a jerk bait like crazy um and, and i'll switch back and forth between this one and the uh, tiger uh, i think they both do pretty well but uh, usually, like I said, we don't really have enough time to uh, use it anyway. So, yeah. Anyway, before we go to St. Croix, though, I do want to uh, go ahead and meet Washington. I don't know what this is about, but uh, hopefully it doesn't Hopefully it doesn't uh, do the whole uh, it playing the music and then my, my video gets copyrighted or something like that. Copyright struck. Real life tackle up to 40% discount. Wow. I actually kind of do want a fishing planet hat. I think that would be kind of cool. But uh, as far as the other stuff, not really. <laughs> not that it doesn't look cool. Believe you me, fishing planet. It looks super cool, man. All right. Let's get into this. Gamer Guru 2K is on. Well, uh, I'm just going to do a private room because I don't want to mess with him. We're just gonna go grab this thing and leave. So, loading screen, loading screen. You might be asking yourself, he skipped the whole rigging up the rods and stuff like that. Why isn't he skipping the loading screen? Make it easier for us. Um, yeah, we can't just skip everything in life, okay? Sometimes we have to actually like go through them. We're, we're, we're. We are using titanium leaders on these things, which is a good thing to say. Where the heck is Washington? Where the heck are you, man? All right, let's run over here. I doubt he's over here. There's the Canaan. Hello, Canaan. And we have an American flag. We got arsonist kit. Dun, 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 dun. Ba, 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 ba. All right, can we shoot this off? Whoa! That was cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got it. All right. Well, if you have enough cannonballs, you could just move between uh, move between places and just keep on shooting them off. I guess. Boom. Doesn't like starting off the stream with cannons firing. All right. Well, Washington's not over here. I guess we gotta go find him. Washington Washing beard Where are you washing beard? Usually they put stuff over here A Weird log I don't remember that being there Washing beard Yeah, am I taking it a little too tight? Hey, they got weeds on the G on the That's cool Right or maybe that's fish that's supposed to be fish Washington <gasps> I saw him. Oh We need to find a way to get on the shore He's over there all by himself should we just go through the cattails? Is there, is there not like an actual opening? I thought there would be an opening somewhere, but I'm not finding one. And the dock's broken. Not like we can just go on the dock. Or can we? Dun, dun, dun. Let me in. Aha ha ha broken dock you will not stop me <laughs> Washington my lord and savior just kidding 
Hey, well, we got a cannonball. That's all right. Now we can shoot it off at St. Croix when we go there. Find six fragments of Washington's battle sword. Washington has a battle sword? So if you, uh, if you buy the revolutionary pack, you get all 50 cannonballs. So I guess then you just have to travel to different places and shoot them off, which is going to be, you know, a handful. Uh, how much is this? I don't even know. Let's check. It is $6.29. Honestly, one of the cheapest packs I've seen for Fishing Planet. So you know what? If you have $6 lying around, which I've heard of people complaining about DLCs for the Hunter, which when they come out, they're usually like 25% off and end up being like something crazy like $5 or something like that for a whole DLC that we've waited for for half a year. So uh, maybe six dollars is a lot, but uh, but yeah, revolutionary pack. You get all of the cannonballs. You get a bunch of fireworks, which you don't really need. You get a bunch of lures, the Fourth of July lures, thirteen bait coins, seventeen seventy six credits. Those numbers couldn't mean anything. And then fifty cannonballs, which shh, can't think of anything in the United States related that has fifty of them. Um, but but yeah, I guess if you just wanted to skip all the work, which Honestly, we might just do a video of this whole pack here just so that we can uh, show off anyone in the future But you know here we go catch historic fish on emerald to find a fish tag bearing the coordinates of the first sunken canoe The first sunken canoe Somewhere near the sunken canoe you can fish out an ancient chest with relics including a fragment of George Washington's sword What? This is crazy Ugh. Why did I have to leave? I want to be doing this right now. That's uh, that's really interesting. So we have to we have to catch historic walleye using the rattlesnake worm four inch, which you don't get unless you shoot off cannons. Um, no, but you will catch some of the historic fish just using regular, um, regular uh, lures and stuff like that. I've caught them in the past. In fact, I think my largest uh, my largest snook or one of them. Maybe I don't have it now, but one of my snook used to be, here we go, historic common snook. And I just caught this on a regular lure. You know, I don't even have any 4th of July lures, so you can see his little 1796 tag up there. Interesting. But uh, I caught this in the, uh, in the Everglades. That was a surprise. <laughs> Cause I wasn't I wasn't in the salt water area. I was over in the uh, the bass fishing area, and I caught a snook. <laughs> it really really caught me by surprise. Anyway, um, very cool. Well, that's uh, that's that's uh, that's given us. Wow, look at that. We just unlocked a bazillion different uh, Washington sword blade. What do we get when we do that though? Independence treasure hunt. Restore the statue of George Washington, get the treasure map, find the independence treasure. What? That's crazy. What do we get if we get the independence treasure though? So we have to go, okay, wait, 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 wait. I just want to see this emerald. Then we have to go to Lone Star, Mudwater, and Naharan. Okay, Rocky and Falcon. Naharan, Quanchkin, and Everglades. Mudwater, Quanchkin, St. Croix, San Joaquin, Kinnick Creek. And then Falcon Everglades San Joaquin Kneet Creek again to find the sunken tr the sunken canoes and fish to get ancient chests with relics. Dude, this is turning into quite the deal. Anyway, okay, well that's a taste of the 4th of July thing. If you're at home and you have time to do it, unlike me right now, because this will post 7.30 tonight, Central time for all of you elsewhere. It's 8 30 for me uh, Anyway Where um, yeah, you can go ahead and start the 4th of July fishing I think that'd be a lot of fun give you something to do. I love the fishing planet events I wish they did more of them in the hunter um, I know they do a lot of them in the hunter classic, but they don't do a lot in the hunter. So anyway finally fishing in st. Croix let's go everyone i'm excited if you're wondering why i'm drinking coffee it's because it's six o'clock in the morning and i'm tired anywho let's get started where's the cannon in this area though 
hoping it's over here because that's where I like to fish for pike. <laughs> uh, should we skip to day two or should we fish? I can't recall which is the best day to be fishing though is the problem. We'll do a friends only room here and we'll just go on to this area. I don't, I did select that rightmost area, didn't I? A lot of you, if you've seen my pike fishing videos in the in the in the past, you know where my favorite pike fishing area is. If not, then this will be an eye-opening experience for you. We are looking for a cannon first. Cannon. Cannon. Oh God. He now run faster. Run faster than you've ever run before. Wish we had some binoculars. I'm pressing five, but nothing is nothing is coming up but another rod. That's usually the one I have my binoculars on. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it's over by the canoes and stuff. Canons? What? Well, what kind of ladder is this? A ladder that traps you on a dock, evidently. Jeez. Here, I know the easiest way to look for a cannon. With a speedboat. Oh, those are weeds. Okay. Cannon. Oh, I tell you where it could be. It could be in the trees, I guess. Could be in those trees. But it also could be over here. Hi, boat! Looking for a cat. Ah! Ah! Totally did that on purpose. Slowing down. Slowing down. Not full steam ahead. What what do they say when it's not full steam ahead? Go ashore. Can I really not go? Oh, here we go. I was gonna say, can I really not go to shore here? Here we go. Da 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 da. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Boom! What the frick? Better luck next time. You better luck next time, buddy. <sighs> Dumb. Stupid. Alright. Well, let's go catch some pike, I guess. Meh. Uh-huh. 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 We're just gonna do this because... It might be just as fast as just doing a loading screen and loading it up. There's some fish there. <laughs> Guess I'll go to shore. <laughs> ah. Anywho, let's go. I could have gone closer to where uh, to where I like to go fishing, but I didn't want my boat to be in the way. So, oh well. <laughs> let's go fishing. So, if you don't know where we are, we uh, we traveled by boat back to, um, well this map doesn't help you at all, but we've traveled by boat back to this area over here, so if you just traveled to this spot, it'd basically be the same. And uh, we traveled around the end of this lake, and we're coming over to these weeds over here. And then you'll see these lily pads here, and through these weeds, which I swear they made taller, um, you'll see this little gap here, which happens to be looking directly at my boat. When you play, your boat won't be there unless you're just as dumb as me. <laughs> and I like to just place my stand right here and then commence fishing. So, hey look, something's moving right there. All right, top notch. Well, we have our first rod. I'm just gonna plop it right on top of where that fish just moved, because that is where we're gonna catch fish. 
Um, and now we'll go on to rod number three. So I'm, I already showed you what I'm using. You got a big old bobber on there. You got a Shiner 7-aught hook. On the one, we do have a Shiner 7-aught. Uh, we have a large minnow and a 7-aught hook. So I like to just kind of spread them out like so. One in front. Sometimes I'll throw it on the side over there. Sometimes I'll just throw it on the other, on the, you know, the opposite end of the lily pads. And then I'll throw one over here. And you can even go more to the left over there. And uh, now it's just a waiting game. This isn't exactly the best time to be fishing. But you have to think that if you can only change the time so many times, uh, you know, you might as well see if you can catch one or two during a time. It's not like it's super bad fishing by any means. And look at that, we already got one. Wasn't sure how uh, bad the, uh... Oh god. This is what we're gonna deal with. This is what we're gonna deal with the whole time. So, remind you that this is the 24 pound line. Got a pretty decent fish on here. We'll find out, I guess. Of course they did have that update that uh kind of made the fish fight more um it really affected the uh, sturgeon and san joaquin so this might i don't know if i've fished for pike since then so this could actually fight more than i remember and uh it might be better to use a stronger rod in the future yep strike timed out we're gonna beach him nope Nope. Woo wee. <laughs> yeah, these are these are stronger than I remember. Good night. That or we have an uni on here. <laughs> Which wouldn't be a bad way to start out a stream, I guess. Oh, came towards us there. It'll be interesting to see if we get any cannonballs from these match rods. Come on, Pike. Get in here, buddy. I'm really interested to see how big this fish is. <laughs> we might be in trouble if it's small. <laughs> 18 pounds, so on his way to 24, $2,181 and 648 XP. So you can see we got three arrows on that. And this was a 24 pound rod. So you could, I mean, if that's three arrows, then you could honestly probably go up to a 30 pound rod and still get a fair amount of XP. Now, if you were going after getting a lot of XP with every fish, because, I mean, we fought with this thing for quite a while, and that was just, uh, wow. Did you see that? The, uh, the fish that the strike timed out, we actually... We actually, uh, the bobber flung out of the water there. Man, talk about tension. See, now we pulled this guy in. No... Well, we pulled this guy in no trouble. What's the deal there? 21 pound trophy Northern Pike, 815 XP, $2,497. Oh, this was our strongest rod, was it? On the large minnow? I guess technically this is our strongest rod. So, yeah, 815 XP. But the thing is, is that uh, the middle rod, yeah. So this is uh, 25.5 pounds, 25.5 pounds. They both have the same reel on there. I just, I don't know. Did I tell you that I'm like an expert in catching pike? I know everything. No. So, so we lost the, we lost the strike on this rod and the line flew up onto the bank. <laughs> Bing! That's crazy. Well, I guess we'll reel this in. Alrighty, here we go. 
raining outside now. Bet the puppies are loving that. They, uh, they always look so sad when it's raining outside. We can't go outside today. It's raining outside. No, they pretty much seem that way every day of the summer. They, uh, they really do not like uh, the heat and they don't like rain. Big, big surprise, eh? Big old uh, fluffy dogs that they are. Surprising that they don't like the summer heat. Um, yeah, but uh, come fall, come fall, they become a little bit more uh, spunky. They'll start going, going outside more. Let's see if we can pull in a uh, pike here. Thing is, if you do start getting into a good sized pike, then uh, he'll be fighting it while uh, dealing with the other stuff. I see. I can't remember how to reel in a jerk bait, but I'm gonna start by twitching it and just see what happens. Switching to three speed because I can't keep it up high. Twitch didn't seem to do much. <laughs> oh, you got a fish on. Fish on, fish on. Which one? Number three. Number three. On the large minnow again. <laughs> now this is a six pound. See what I mean? Large minnow. You can catch a 21 pound and then you can move to a six pound. The, the literally the next one that you catch. So doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, I will say now that like that throw right there. I don't like it being in the lily pads. You'll find it sometimes kind of drifts into the lily pads sometimes. I don't like that. Uh, I like it to stay outside the lily pads. I don't, I'm not sure if it actually makes a big difference, but I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like when the bobbers are in the lily pads. I, I think that you don't catch as many fish, but I haven't tested it. Um, you know, you think, well, in real life, obviously it probably wouldn't be, it might not be the best place to cast. And because you get tangled up in the lily pads and everything and so in a game you don't know if that'll actually matter as much but uh but i think it does i think you don't catch fish when it's when it when the bobber drifts into the lily pads almost like that one right there is about to do there's a 14 pound trophy northern 1695 on this one 444 xp you can imagine if you could picture yourself fishing here you know how much well, we've already got over $5,000 right now by catching, what, three, four fish? So, you can imagine how this uh, lake would be helping you right now. Oh, about to have another fish on. This uh, lure seems to be kind of heavy for my rod here. <laughs> Ooh, God, this scared me saw that red on there and I was like oh gosh it's gonna break but it didn't break that was our weakest rod pulled in a 9.8 not too bad eleven hundred dollars 273 XP we only got two arrows on that one so that means that XP is a little uh, little off maybe not sure I will say uh, so um, we're gonna catch some pike for a little while but then I think we're gonna go oh gosh I'm gonna reel this in real quick then we're gonna go uh, try to catch a blue a uh, big blue catfish because people have been asking about that for a while asking us to go catch a blue catfish so I think we'll go try and catch a blue catfish I'm not sure if we have the right bait for a blue catfish, but we're just gonna go and, and see what we can catch, I guess. Big fish jumping over there. We'll throw it out right on top of where it just jumped. See what we catch. All right, might have to switch to a smaller jerk bait simply because um, my the retrieve on my bait caster is not doing too hot right now. 
Um, and if anything, we can switch to a crankbait. We'll switch to a lighter lure, see if this helps us out. Might not. I do know that people really do like uh, fishing for muskie. The three speed might be no, we got one. I'm gonna say the three speed might be too much. Look at that little seven pound northern pike off the uh, off the match rods. Not too bad. That was three speed too. Stop and go. So couldn't be that bad. Oh. to the old lily pads there. <laughs> See, if you were on a boat, you would be able to cast into this little inlet a little bit easier. We don't really have that luxury though. I will say if the match rods slow down, we might move time just to uh, keep the fish Keep the fish rolling in. Got into those lily pads again. There's fish. That's fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Been watching a lot of river monsters throughout the day. This one's off for the races. Forty-seven, fifty, sixty feet. You're crazy, bro. In the forties now, in the thirties now. Eleven pounds. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Nine pounds. Eleven. Still eleven hundred dollars and two hundred seventy-three XP. You can't say no to that. That's decent, man. That's decent. That's good, honest work right there. Um, I'm just going to reel these in. I don't know why my nose is all stuffy. It's my just woke up nose stuffiness, I guess. Specifically, I, I went to bed early yesterday because I just wasn't feeling it. I was like, man, let's just, yeah, just just record two hours and post it. It'll be okay. And uh, I sat down on my computer and I was like, <laughs> I can't do this right now. I'm just not feeling it, man. Uh, so anyway, that's my life story. There you go. Let's cast out. <laughs> So what we did there is we just uh, moved time to hopefully mix it up. Sometimes you just gotta mix it up. Um, no, this is um, it's it's got something to do with the uh, spawn rates of the fish. Um, when you catch a lot of fish in one location, it usually uh, makes you move to another location to catch more fish. But I don't want to move locations. Um, so, so we changed the time and, uh, I'm hoping that was enough time to travel, but it could not be. We could, we could have had to, uh, maybe move another hour or something to really get the fish biting or something like that. So I think I'm just going to stand right here and cast out, see if we can pull anything out of the depths, the depths of the water. Doing a two speed stop and go and trying for the life of me to keep it up. <sighs> I 
Fish on, fish on. So I don't know if you saw that right there. Part of it was just it being a small fish and we just pulled it in, no problem. The other thing is that with these pike, you can kind of, uh, I don't know what to call it. You can kind of, you can kind of rush them. Uh, where, you know, uh, if you get them close to the bank, all you have to do is just kind of sprint at them and your character will get close enough that he'll pull them in. Um, so a lot of the times the pike, like right now, like to uh, go right towards the bank and you can see how the line went real, real slack. Um, because he's coming to the bank and I'm just, I'm letting off the reel right now and I'm just running towards him and then I'm just reeling up the slack like that. And you see how we almost got close enough to pull him in. Now, now we've got him so close that just got him out of the water. 17 pounds, 1987. It was a very good year, 54, 554 XP. I wasn't alive in 1987, but my parents were. <laughs> what do we got? Number one. Number one, the bait was eaten or lost. Your bait was eaten or lost. Psh, show you what I know about bait eating or lost. Get out of here. You don't know nothing. <sighs> all right, that's fine. That's fine. Can't catch them all, I guess. This is in Pokemon. Uh, throwing these out. Number four rod now. Got this in the weeds. <laughs> ah, it's a little close to the lily pads. Hopefully it's all right though. All right, back to the old jerk bait. We do have a crankbait, which we could also try. Let's see if the crankbait does us any better. Try a uh, slimy, slimy crank from Halloween. It's all slimy. We do have the, we could use the golem lure too. Which if it's to be believed, you could catch a, you could catch another uh, musky golem. But uh, honestly, as much fun as it was to bring in in a canoe, I don't really think it would be as much fun to reel in from the bank on a 24 pound rod. So I think if you were wanting to try that, you might have to get a stronger rod. <laughs> because uh, at least when you're in a canoe, you can follow the musky golem. And uh, if he's pulling you, then you can just be pulled in the canoe. But uh, if you're on the bank, I feel like the uh, fight would be quite a bit different. Um, another small fish. 12 pound North Trophy Northern. You gotta bite on the first rod now. Did it again there, if you saw. They start going towards the bank. That's all you gotta do. You, you stop reeling and you sprint towards them and then reel in the slack. It's, it's, you know what? We're just gonna have to give it a name that, uh, that, that obviously is like, oh yeah, that was his style. That's, that's the BZ Hub style right there. Of catching pike. BZ style. BZ style. I don't know. Someone come up with a cool name. <laughs> that way, if you're ever chatting with people on Fishing Planet, you can be like, yo, do you fish pike BZ style? And they'll be like, what? BZ style? And you'll be like, yeah, like Harry Styles, but BZ styles. No, never heard of him. That's a lot of beeping. Boy, that, uh, that rod is curved to the max. 
Obviously the biggest thing about sprinting towards the fish is obviously if the slack gets too slackish, you'll lose them. So you don't want to do that, obviously. We've almost got this guy in though. 23, 23. You know what's funnier than 23? 24. Okay, talking points, talking points. If the premiere is getting slow at this point, because I don't know, I've never done this sort of thing before. Hopefully moderators are there to uh, help keep the place clean. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see what to talk about. Um, how's everyone's day going? That's, a, that's always something to talk about. Hopefully everyone's having a great uh, middle of the week, Wednesday. Um, oh my gosh, I just realized that obviously Wednesday for the longest time had that uh that camel Geico com commercial or whatever you remember that you remember the camel Geico commercial hump day hump day oh my god heard that so many times um but it's also hub day hub day everyone wow middle of the week that's the hub right in the middle Time for BZ Hub. <laughs> we get a fish on? What the frick was that about? No, we just got a lily pad, evidently. Well then. Well then. Fine. I didn't want to catch a fish anyway. Slimy crank might just not be a good color. that or it, it might just be like anyone when they see like Christmas decorations during the 4th of July you're like come on man I like Christmas as much as the next person but <laughs> we don't catch anything with this one we might change to another lure just to uh, make sure that it's not a slimy crank thing. Might just be specifically not going after this because it's a slimy crank. Of course, now we have another fish on. This is what I mean about trying to catch fish on a lure while you got these going on. Usually, usually you've always got a fish going on on the match rods and it makes it harder to reel in especially when you actually do catch a fish on a lure and then you get another you get, then you get a bite on the match rod and then it's like now you're losing fish ten pound northern pike see here's the thing so they obviously changed the uh, fighting of the pike could it be that they changed the, the hook size of the pike? I doubt it. But you catch enough smaller fish and you start to wonder that, don't you? <laughs> Another eight pound northern pike. Mm, I don't know. Should we, uh, should we throw out? I think I'll switch to an ADOT hook on the one. We'll switch to an ADOT hook and just see I, I know this is probably, I don't know, it's probably not going to do much, but. In the name of science, we'll try it out. <sighs> See, I have barbless hooks for most of my larger hook sizes. <laughs> Just because, obviously, you get more XP for it, so. This is a rather jazzy song, isn't it? Getting into the old lilies there. All right, let's change it up. Change it up again. We have the Eagle Spoon 5'8", though. Wonder what we catch with that thing. There's got to be some missions that are at St. Croix. I wonder if we could catch anything with those. 
Let's do... It is... What is it? It's cloudy outside. Okay. All right, all right. Let's do... Something. Too heavy and might break the rod. Jesus, man. You weigh two ounces. What are you? You weigh an ounce and a half. Okay, I guess we'll try this one. Let's go look. There's got to be a mission that... One of these has to be at St. Croix. Falcon and Rocky, Everglades. St. Croix, okay. Catch historic white bass using the old glory grub. Mmm. That doesn't sound fun. Now this is uh catch historic musky, striped jerk bait. One and a half to six aught, okay. And that one doesn't have St. Croix in it. So okay. Hmm. They're wanting us to use jerk baits with those. Let's toss out. Let's toss out. Should that be a BZ Hub uh, <laughs> saying? Hey everyone, let's toss out. I I don't know. Not sure. Not sure about that. Oh. We almost had a fish there. I'm not sure if you can hear the rain in the back. Can anyone hear the rain in the back? There we got a fish. There we got a fish. <laughs> so I've never seen, um, River Monsters comes and goes on uh, streaming platforms, I feel. But I've never seen the, uh, the later episodes, the later, like, seasons. Season six and seven, I think. Um, never seen those before. See what I mean? Now we're fighting this guy on here. We can't pick up our rod. I and mean, we can, but I don't want to. <laughs> Hopefully it's a big one. There's a five hot, so I doubt it. But who knows? Could catch a musky, I suppose, on this too. Hold on, he nil. Still got a faint beeping in the background. Hoping he's at least a trophy. Yeah, I think he's. Come on, man. He's got to be. It's got to be close. That's it. That's it. Get him in. Get him in. He's close. Net him. There we go. It is a musky. Gosh dang it. <laughs> ah. This is my first musky I've got in a long time. Um, You'd think that with the match rod and the minnows and the shiners that you would catch a musky every now and then, but I really don't. I usually only catch pike. It's crazy. That's pretty cool. Good old classic musky for ya. Looks a lot like a pike. I don't know. I don't know about that.
I know they look pretty similar, but I always thought that the muskie's face looked a little more fat or something like that. 1189, 453 XP, not too shabby. I always thought that the muskie paid worse than the, uh, than the pike, though. Yeah, because I mean, what that pike was 17 pounds, or that muskie was 17 pounds and 11.53 on the money, I think it was. So this is a 9.554 pound northern pike, $1,100, nearly the same amount of money. XP is different. Ugh. But, yeah. We've got 211 pounds of fish already, everyone. It's pretty crazy. trying to remember what my rule was I had a rule like uh, I changed time every every uh, two like every hundred pounds or something I changed time I can't remember what it was though <clears throat> well should we throw out the crankbait again I could also go back to a jerkbait can't recall if it's a um, if it's a stop and go or a twitch that gets the fish crazy let's just go back let's try twitch again and I'm really struggling to keep it up Might have to switch to a spinning rod if this is what you want to do. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go back to a stop and go, I suppose. <laughs> I love the sound of rain. Love the sound of rain. It's kind of a um, doing a stream doesn't feel the same when you know you have to go to work afterwards. <laughs> Usually the stream is like a celebration of like, yay, I made it through work and now it's time to play sort of thing. But uh, right now I'm streaming before work. It's giving me the opposite feeling. A water lily. I don't want a water lily. I want to catch a big, big pike or a muskie or something. No, it's not much to look at, but golly, you have to keep your rod tip high just to keep it up. <laughs> do, 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 do. Rain isn't playing around. Well, I think it might be time to uh, reel in and switch the time. Tell you what I am most surprised with. I'm going to wait till I get all these in to say it, though, because I don't want to jinx myself.
I am very surprised. Ooh. We haven't lost a single bait while fishing yet. That used to be a thing that happened to me all the time, is I'd lose a bait. I'd lose a bait every now and then. I'm just gonna switch straight to here. Straight to the good fishing time again. Give us the best chance of catching a big pike or something. <laughs> oh, wrong one. Oh, bobber number three is going, going a little crazy right now. Trying to run away from something. Trying to run. <laughs> As if the fish have legs. <laughs> that's that's quality comedy right there. Um, uh, let's see. Switching back to the heavy jerk bait again. I'm gonna have to switch back to the three speed, I think. And even with the three speed, we can hardly keep it up. That's. Yeah, we're not even getting, not even getting any sort of retrieve when we do four speed. So, next time I come out here, first off, I I, I didn't bring I didn't bring a tiger jerk bait that uh, the the lower weight. So that was a mistake on my part. I was thinking heavier. I need heavier stuff. <laughs> Jeez Louise. This guy's weak sauce. You're weak sauce, bro. Eight pounder. You know, it really wouldn't be that big of a deal. Oh, we caught a shell. That is a big lure, dude. <laughs> um, but, oh. Uh, trophy Northern. It's been a while since we've got a Trophy Northern. You know what? Did we switch? We did switch to the eight on the larger one. We just haven't caught a larger, larger, larger pike. Larger Talking, talking, talking. Let's do, um, let's see what they have in here. We did need to catch Old Glory. Oh, so you can buy them with bait coins. That's interesting. It's good to know. So if you had a bunch of bait coins, you could technically buy a lot of these lures. God, this song playing right now sounded like a beeper going off. Ugh. Um, let's see here. So, jerk bait. Yeah, this one. Maybe that's the one we should try. Have we tried that one yet? Let's try it. See if it uh, see if it changes the game completely. This could be the purple narrow spoon of of jerk baits. I remembered the one that worked had stripes. Unfortunately, they both have stripes, so I couldn't remember. 
I and and part of it I also thought that it had tiger in the name the other one had tiger in the name But maybe I just remembered as the tiger one because it had stripes on it. I don't know I don't think this is gonna work though, but I can't keep I can't keep it up high enough To actually work any sort of magic. So I'm just gonna buy this because because You never have enough lures I guess <laughs> A little bit less heavy Watching that watching the height just barely keeping it off the bottom right now. Now we go back. We'll try a twitch this time. You know, I switch back and forth between reeling constantly and just twitching with the right and and then, uh, you know, holding the rod up completely and then reeling in. I switch back and forth between those two. This feels... Something about when I picked that rod up and, uh, and it was bent over the way it was gave me good vibes. But we are reeling it in pretty quickly. It's just eight pound man when it was bent over the way it was when we finally when I picked it up at first I thought that could be a big fish See see I'm not getting any bites with this third rod because it's in the lilies and it's all snagged up All right tell you what everyone I'm gonna go get a refill of coffee so we're gonna have a small little uh, small little break here and uh, yeah we'll get get right back to it okay yes you did you know that BZ hub now has memberships here on YouTube that's right for only a dollar 99 a month you can show off your love with a BZ hub badge of honor next to your name and giving you access to all of your favorite emotes such as King Bjorn, Gotham, Mad Lad, and Get Rexed. More emotes will be added with more members. But I have lots of money. What else could I do? If you want to support the BZ Hub more, check out the Hub Lord membership at $9.99 a month. On top of a badge of honor and your favorite emotes, you will also get your name featured at the end of every BZ Hub episode. But lots of money. For those of you with a cash burning a hole in your pocket, check out the Hub Master membership at $19.99 a month. Not only do you get the badge of honor, emotes, and your name featured at the end of every episode, but you also get a complimentary BZ Hub membership on Twitch for our weekly Twitch streams. Plus, you know, everyone will know you're a Hub Master, and who doesn't want that title? So, get off your booty and join the BZ Hub today! It'd help if I had the sound on. Even when we're not in a live stream, we forget to turn the sound back on, don't we? <laughs> Viking King Bjorn came and joined us. He said, uh, the god Thor is very upset right now. He's shocking the earth and there's thunder and I don't like that. Don't like thunder. Do you, Bjorn? No. <sighs> you know, some people... Some people brag about how fearless their dog is. 
Um, do you really want them to be fearless? I mean, if there's imminent threat in front of you and you're thinking, oh God, that train is going to destroy anything that gets in its way. Do you really want something fearless to just go, I'm not afraid of that train? Eh, no, need to be smart. That's why Bjorn, he says, lightning. I can't, I can't go against lightning. If I get shocked by lightning, I'm dead. So I'm gonna stay inside. And that is called rational fear. Bjorn is, he's, he's rationally fearless. <laughs> All right, top notch. Back to fishing. We're gonna catch some big fish, Bjorn. We haven't been catching a lot of big fish yet. We even have an ADOT hook on this one. Still not catching very many big fish. Bjorn uh. is doing circles around me. Otherwise known as pacing. What you doing there, big boy? Oh. Gonna just come lay down? Yeah. Yeah, oh, you just sit right next to me. I'll give you pets. What a good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Alrighty, let's see what we can do with this jerk bait again. Hi. Hi, good boy. Do, 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 do. Boop, 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 boop. Got it, got it, got it. Man, I just want one unique. Just at least one. At the least. There's been days where we've caught two or three uniques in one day. And those were crazy days. And other days where I don't think we probably caught any uniques. Oh, it's right on the side. It's right on the side. Ah, uh, by the time we got over here, it's gone. <laughs> there we go. Easy rushed it. Trophy Northern Pike. 1728459 XP. Ooh, we got beepers going off. Couldn't even hear him way over there. Which one? Number three? Big Rod. The Big Rod! Ooh, we got another one on over there. This one coming in here. 8.45. Come on. Grab it. Not a lot of drag with this one. Six pounder or something? Jeez Louise, eight pounds. Ugh. Just for uh, kicks, I'm gonna throw on, I'm gonna throw on a 10 knot hook on this. Cause uh, honestly, I mean, we haven't done anything better than a trophy. We honestly haven't caught too many trophies. Lay lay Eiler, lay lay Eiler. I'm gonna throw a nine, we're gonna keep this one on seven. Just to, just to spread it out. You know, I, I say what works, but you never know. You never know if they change it to keep you on your toes. I, I doubt it, but experimentation is what keeps the world up to date. So that's what we're doing. We got nine odd on this one with a shiner. Might not catch any fish with it, honestly. Of course, when it's also that close to the lily pads, also might not catch anything. Still surprised we haven't lost any bait yet. But I guess we have once. Gosh, I don't like it that close. I know it's me that keeps messing it up, but still, I get angry about it. <laughs> All right. All my rods are out. We are waiting for fish. Back to the jerkbait. 
Big fish, big fish. Gosh dang it. What do you want? <laughs> Watch this be an unicorn on the seven knot now that we switch to the larger hooks. Birds are chirping outside. 10 pounder. We've been catching a lot of smaller fish, which honestly, if you're just in it for the money, then that's that's absolutely fine. 10 pound pike is a thousand dollars, you know? That's 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 just fine. Catching fish is all that matters. You can obviously see we got a nine on and a ten odd on the other ones. It'll be interesting to see if we end up catching more fish on the seven knot than on the nine and ten. <laughs> Or if the 9 and 10 will just be kind of ignored. I'll be interested to see. switching back between the twitch and the stop and go just because I don't know which one is actually good <laughs> let's try twitch this time so as I was saying I, I switch back and forth between doing it this way holding your rod tip up and just reeling in to twitch it and doing the other way I swear you get more action by doing it the other way you get more of a twitch actual twitch than doing it this way Obviously, if you have a loud mouse or something. Here's the thing. Both of them, you have to click no matter what, right? You have to reel in to twitch with this. You have to reel in. You have to You have to raise your rod. You have to click, right? It's the same thing. Of course, with this, we're not getting a twitch, though. Interesting. So we got one on the nine on now. Let's go. It's pulling us out like this. You would assume that hopefully it's a trophy at least. Pretty decent fish. I would uh, describe this music as being less than upbeat right now. Well, I've got to tell you that's okay. Kind of the music, kind of the vibe I'm getting from this song. 
Come on, man. You're being like crazy right now. You got another, if you can't hear that, it's beeping in the background. I don't know. I don't know how much people can hear, but it's beeping in the background. We got another fish on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry, the last couple of feet. Come on, the last couple of feet. That's all we need. There we go. It is a trophy northern 2,100, 647 XP. Run, Hino, run! It is up. Oh. It's on the weakest run. No, no. Frick you, man. Frick you. Can't believe that. Can't believe it. We were right there. Where were we? Right there. How did you get in the lily pads? How do you keep getting in the lily pads? Just ridiculous. Hey, we're gonna throw you way out there. Way out there. <laughs> it's not that far. Uh, yeah, sorry. Oh, no, oh, using the wrong buttons. There's splashing going on in the lily pads. We're trying to get them out of the lily pads, though. All right, let's go back to a stop and go. Stop and go. Do your thing. Stop and go. Hmm. Well, jerk bait is not doing as good as I remember it doing. That is saying the obvious. <laughs> and I remember, I feel like I remember fishing with the jerk bait and catching like pike after pike. Oh, got hit there. Maybe we need to stop doing this funny business with the stop and goes and the twitches and just reel it in nice and slow. Maybe. See how if you're, um, if you're going after money, we have caught four fish. Is that it? Four different fish in the same amount of time that we've caught one or two on the other. I mean, that's $880 right there that you still wouldn't have gotten with the nine and 10 odd hooks. All right, I'm just gonna reel it in nice and slow this time. Not nice and slow, but you know, straight. A big lily pad at the end there. Trying to pull a pike out of these lily pads. I <laughs> I could switch to the crankbait and actually be catching fish right now. <laughs> but I feel determined to figure out why this jerkbait isn't working the way I remember it working. I feel like I need to go back and watch my own videos to figure out what I was doing. It's like, can't re I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. Why? Why aren't you working? <laughs> All right, let's just switch to a crankbait, I guess. 
I guess, and actually catch fish or whatever. I mean, is that really what's important? Actually catching fish or just theoretically catching fish? He's right next to the side. BZ rushed. BZ rushed him. That's a thing. We're making it a thing. Everyone start repeating it. Re repeat it wherever you go. BZ rush. Kind of sounds like a fraternity thing, which I don't like, but whatever. We'll say it ironically in that case. We'll get him, get him, get him, get him. All right, crankbait. Show that jerk bait how much of a jerk he is. Ah, good old coffee. Something I don't drink during the streams. Yeah, yeah. Pretty decent fish on. For this rod, anyway. <sighs> yeah, what's funny about the uh, Ardex Pros or whatever they're called is that I actually bought them after I was done fishing at St. Croix. After I'd moved on to San Joaquin and was catching sturgeon and, and everything else, uh, I enjoyed fishing at, Sa at St. Croix so much that I actually bought more rods. <laughs> Specifically to catch pike on. That's where I got these these 24 pound rods. The uh, Arctic's 13 foot twos and the Hornet Swarm 6000 to literally to only catch pike. Um, because I just enjoyed catching pike and I mean look at the fish keeper we've got we've been we've been we've been fishing for a little under an hour and 27 minutes just because we did a lot of talking in the beginning but we've got 37,000 37,000 dollars gross is that your hair or mine Bjorn I got a haircut yesterday I know you noticed thank you thank you for noticing you probably commented about it too. Like, wow, your hair looks great. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Compliments are welcome. Wow, what a, a bull rush. We caught one of these earlier. You know, if you wanted a cool screenshot of your lure, like this, these are the opportunities to get one, finally. I just wish I could have the water in the background. Just by the time I spin this way and I can see the lure, the water's not in that background anymore. And you could be saying, BZ. I don't know why I kept that. <laughs> you could just Photoshop it out. No big deal. It's very true, but that's a lot of work. Just for trying to get water in the background. And who knows where I'd actually even use that, you know? What video am I gonna use something like that? We don't know. Nobody knows. <laughs> oh, using the blue and white crankbait. That's what we'll do right now. Thank you. 
Got that one musky on crankbait. That's really it. say I don't know what to say about that <laughs> did catch uh quite a few pike on spinner baits back in the day back in the day um I know this is too heavy but we're gonna throw it anyway stop I know I'm awake jeez all these alarms going off and everything. If you're wanting to know where we are in the stream, uh, in the premiere, I guess, we're an hour and 30 minutes in, which means we have half an hour to go. Um, so, so yeah. Shaved off a little bit of time in the beginning there. Uh, rigging my rods up, paused and all that sort of thing, so, yeah. And we only had one incident where I was muted, so that's good. <laughs> There's a fish. Well, by George, we got a fish on. You can catch fish with these uh, darn lures. Hear that, Bjorn? He let out the biggest sigh, like, oh my God, just shut up. Why are you talking so much? No one is in here. No one, no one. Why aren't you picking this fish up? Come on, man, it's 15 feet out. Oh my God. Well, good old Northern Pike. Look at them teethers on her. Good old deal. 1164 on that beast. On that beastie. Fantastic. Right, Bjorn? This kind of sounds like the music I would be listening to at a time like this. Kind of a jazzy, a jazzy piano, hip, hip hoppy, sort of uh, coffee, coffee music. Boy, we almost had one, didn't we? It hopped on at one point. Let's throw it back out, try to get it. I think we're gonna have to change the time again, but I tell you, we're so late in the day now that I think if we're gonna change the time again, we're gonna have to uh, switch locations too because we're gonna have to go after a different fish, which I know people are wanting to see anyway because last stream, multiple people were asking about catching blue catfish. So, uh... So maybe we'll go do that. Do that instead. Come on, fish. I didn't bring any, um... Is it crankbaits and narrow spoons? I can't recall. Yeah, can't remember what you used to catch the uni walleye. But we'll try with this, I guess. All right, let's pick up our gear and go. I guess we can see here. Oh no, we've already been there. Boats were moved to their starting positions. Good deal. Well, that's what we needed. <laughs> that's a little small fish over here. We are going to park on the back side of the boat ramp dock thing here. Press E to go ashore. 
All right, let's switch the time now. We're gonna go into the nighttime. We have two hours of good nighttime fishing, so we better make the most of it. Let's look at the blue cat, shall we? Scroll on down, blue cat. I've never caught, well, I think I have caught an Atlantic salmon here. Okay, so we got shads, a craws, a crayfish, and crankbaits. Oh, those are the lures. Man, I was really thrown off. I was like, crankbaits? How am I supposed to put that on a on a sinker? Uh, so we got leeches, medium cut bait, crawfish, large minnows, and shiners. I've got large minnows. Uh, I told myself to bring craws because I remember them liking craws, and they don't even sell craws. Perfect. Um, they do sell leeches though, and leeches are good. Um, do they? Did I read off leeches? Yeah, leeches, okay. Leeches, medium cut bait, shiners, large minnows, crawfish. Should have brought crawfish, but we don't have any, so I'm just gonna throw out some large minnows, I think. Uh hum, uh hum, uh hum. Let's see, I'm gonna change, we're, we're gonna put a 10 odd on one, we're gonna put a nine odd on one, we're gonna put an eight odd on one. We're just gonna see what, uh, what catches the biggest fish, I guess. Let's put uh, large minnows on this guy. Yes, large minnows on that guy, large minnows on that guy. We can't actually buy leeches though. So I guess we'll buy some leeches too. And we'll throw leeches on the middle rod. The nine odd one. <laughs> See if that does us some good there. I know it said medium cut bait as well, but they don't sell medium cut bait. They sell large cut bait. So I'm not entirely sure. Let's see, uh, you know, just for the fun of it. Let's put some large cut bait on one, too. We'll throw, uh, large cut bait on the big one. So we got large minnow, we got, um, uh, leeches, we got large cut bait, and then a bunch of pike gear, so. Let's toss her out and see how we do. I think, uh, actually, with the catfish, we just cast right out, right out here, don't we? For some reason I want to say yes. Oh. That is pike gear. There are some big circles right here. We'll throw that in. Get the number six. I'm gonna throw it for this big circle. Get the number five. I think I'm gonna throw this one. Out here right off the edge of this dock top notch all right I don't have any nighttime lures oh there's another big circle right there don't have any nighttime lures but we'll um, we'll throw a crankbait have any smaller crankbaits though I don't think we do do we have any nighttime lures Nighttime lures. There's shad. Well in the dark worm. Mmm, glow in the dark worm. Things I forget to bring with me. 30 50 bay coins. Good golly. You think I'm made of money or something? Jesus Christ. Um, I haven't thrown a casting spoon in a long time. We could try that. Casting spoon might be kind of fun. Red or blue, though? That is the question. Let's try this. I don't know what we're gonna catch with it, but we'll find out, won't we? Oh, 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 oh. Yes, hello. Anyone have anything to say? No. Alrighty then. Let's, uh,. I remember catching fish casting out towards this buoy. So. Oh, 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 oh. I don't even know which one it is. Every time I turn around is the only time we get a bite. Doing a simple twitch here. <laughs> As we'll just find out what we catch when we catch it, won't we? Well, there's fish. I'm assuming a walleye, but I don't know for sure. Almost looks like a white bass or smallmouth bass. 
is smallmouth bass. Well, heck, heck, man, that's crazy. We're just catching all sorts of stuff. Dive down a little bit deeper. This is when someone in the chat would be like, are you using crawfish for the bait? Because there always seems to be one person asking me to use something that I don't have in my inventory. <gasps> Surely someone's asked me by now, um, what's the biggest fish that I've caught? It's a bull shark. <laughs> Pretty sure, anyway. <laughs> Here, let me show you. No, it's actually a trophy Arapaima. So, there you go. Psh. You thought it was a bull shark? <laughs> what a loser. No, it's a trophy Arapaima. That's my biggest fish that I've caught. God, come on, man. Know your BZ trivia. No, it's a pretty fish though. It? I love all the scales and stuff. That's really awesome. But this bull shark's pretty cool too. Howdy, howdy, howdy. It's a big fish. And then the trophy Piraiba, which I'm excited to go back and catch more of. And then the beluga at Octuba River. River. Need to catch a bigger tarpon though. Um, this is large minnows. I'm gonna toss it out. I just saw a circle out here. <laughs> now let's test out here. <laughs> All right, top notch. What? 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 Doing that thing again. Doing that thing again where you make noise. Bunch of ridiculousness. Big cast. Big cast for big fish. <laughs> it's a pretty sizable casting spoon. Five odd. That's not too bad. That's a that's a pretty big casting spoon. Ooh, some hit it there. Cast towards the buoy.
switching to a stop and go now. All the fish are like, whoa. I just saw something that was twitching a little bit ago and it was boring to me, but now this thing, it just keeps stopping and going. That's enticing. I'm gonna bite that. That's what the fish are thinking. So with spoons, when you're twitching them and stopping and going, what you're doing is actually causing the spoon to, you know, move. And it's the light that reflects off the spoon that's going to get their attention because it's going to keep shining. You know, like if you have sun in your face, it's it's annoying. But if it's a reflection off of a watch, and it just like continually just keeps going into your eyes and you're like, okay, my eye is like going from not having sunlight to having sunlight, not having sunlight to having sunlight. And you're like, that's super annoying. Uh, it's like that basically, except with a lure. I wish you would just freaking go. I just, I just wish you'd actually do something with your life. Oh my god, my future kids are gonna have such a great time with me. <laughs> Just catch a fish already. Jeez, what are you doing? <laughs> oh. Bjorn 2, uh, not Bjorn 2. Bjorn hears that every day. Right, Bjorn? Just do something with your life, Bjorn. Still living at his parents house can't believe it <laughs> some would call that lazy Bjorn just saying Ugh, this casting spoon isn't doing much I think in the past we hadn't There's a fish! Fish on! Doesn't seem that big though. Hey! Our first blue catfish! 28 pounds! Top notch! We caught one. <laughs> and he nails happy. Look at that mug. Look at how happy he is. He's smiling away. Good fish there, he -nail. We need to catch a bigger one, though. I guess we'll keep it. What else are we going to do? Huh? We got big plans to do something else? <laughs> no. Alrighty. That's back in the water. Let's switch to a, let's switch to a crankbait. See if we can catch anything better on it. Let's just do too heavy for the rod. It might break. You think I care? Let's toss her out. Watching you. So that was on the nine aught. I believe. And leeches. If we catch another one on the leeches, we might just have to switch all of them to be on leeches. Ooh, got hit by some. See, a 12 foot would do pretty well here because this water's pretty deep. Even at 12 feet, I think you'd still be off the bottom. Woo wee, that's fish. That's fish on. This isn't even a nighttime crankbait either. This is a pretty sizable fish too. Goodness gracious, what do we catch? Ooh, he is struggling. He's struggling to hold on. I guess it's possible we could have caught a blue catfish. Did say that they do like crankbaits. This is our biggest fish of the day. What the heck did we catch? This is just like Naharan. 
Or you'd be fishing the heron and then all of a sudden you're throwing a crankbait for a bass and then all of a sudden a flathead catfish goes for it. You're just like, what are you doing, catfish? What are you doing, catfish? <laughs> the only thing I can think of is that this is a blue catfish. I don't know what else this big would have gone after a crankbait unless it's a muskie or something. This is a big muskie, if, if so. I'm assuming blue catfish. I'm gonna, I was just about to say, I'm, a, I'm going to get a bite on the other rod. I just know it. But I'm honestly really, I'm really wondering what we caught here. <laughs> this might become one of those things where we uh, end up fighting it for forever. Too long, we end up fighting it for too long and we just have to let it go. We have 10 minutes though, so. Ten hours in the fighting chair. Bring in this monster fish at St. Croix. Come down to 160s again. Spoke too soon, evidently. He had some more fighting him. See, here's the problem too. Whereas, if this was uh, if this was close to 9:30, I would just continue fishing until we caught him. I have to go to work, so can't continue fishing. We have we have nine minutes to make something happen. No. I actually don't want to catch fish on another rod right now. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know if we're going to catch this fish. We had him in the 160s, now he's at 250 almost. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get it. I think I only have like 350 feet on this reel. Swim towards us so we can get a bunch of our line back. Is that what he's doing? He is doing it. <gasps> thank you, thank you, thank you. Starting to swim away now. fish watch it be like a 30 pound blue catfish not even that big just it was a struggle to reel in just because we're using this rod and reel
feel like Jeremy Wade. He's coming up. He's coming up. I can almost see him. Boy, we're getting him now. We're getting you now, brother. Take that. Take that. 60. Fifties now. <sighs> well, this is either a world record walleye or it's a big blue catfish. I'm assuming. Forties now. Oh, 30s. Let's go. Let's go. Can we see him yet? 20s. He's in the 20s. Mid 20s. <gasps> About to be in the teens. About to be in the teens. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh. It is a blue catfish. <laughs> a trophy blue catfish caught on a 24 pound rod and reel. Look at that. <laughs> that is hilarious. Look at that. He nil. What a fight, man. What a fight. Oh, goodness grace. Ah, that was a fight, bro. You did a good job. Well, I tell you what, everyone. Catching a, a 50 pound almost trophy blue catfish on a 24 pound rod and reel. Oh, that, that just about, yep, that just about does it, I think. I don't think we're gonna do any better than that. <laughs> I was hoping we would catch a walleye. Instead, we pulled this chunk out of the water. Goodness gracious. Well, I tell you what, I'm glad uh, for those of you who stuck around for the full stream. I'm sorry we couldn't have an actual stream, um, but currently I'm either driving to Lincoln, Nebraska, or I'm in Lincoln, Nebraska. So, uh, yeah, for work. So, that's always fun. Uh, first time doing this, so hopefully it is fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to it and meeting a bunch of new people and and chatting about wildlife conservation and, and, and how we can uh, help it and stuff like that. So, uh Maybe, uh, who knows? Maybe I can do some fishing while I'm there. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. Take care, everyone. Uh, hope you're all doing well, and uh, we'll see you next time. As always, remember. <laughs>